I bet you didn't know that there were multiple ripoffs in a half shell in a motorcycle. And you probably didn't really care, but oh well, I'm gonna tell you all about it. <laughs> This ain't no tortoise, kids. This is the genuine knockoff turtle riders. You see, it's better than tortoise rider because there's more than one and they're actually turtles. It is always rather amusing when you see a particular bootleg of something and then another bootlegger has to be like, yeah, we're gonna copy that. So you know, the whole snake eating its own tail things going on here. It's the circle of bootlegs or something. So yeah, well, Tortoise Rider is one of those classic Ninja Turtle bootlegs. Turtle Rider seems pretty obscure and almost nothing except old eBay listings comes up when you try to search it currently. I gotta say though, compared to Tortoise Rider, Turtle Riders has the much better card. I love that the Ninja Turtle artwork on this one has just been drawn onto actual motorcycles from a race, complete with all their sponsorship logos. So we got things like Cannon, Champion, and the longtime WWF sponsor, Castrol. I'm shooting a sponsorship Cannon logo that's been ripped off with a Cannon. Is that something? It's actually kind of surprising how much different artwork is actually on this card. Isn't that right, Mike Catello? So unlike Tortoise Rider, which was made in China, Turtle Riders was made in Taiwan. You can argue that they're the same thing, basically, but I believe Taiwan would beg to differ. So, I guess, it's important to note that this is a safety toy, available for the children aged four and up. They even let you know that this is a safety toy on the back as well. Turtle Riders is another friction toy, but this is a pull back and go thing instead of just making it look like... I guess the motorcycle is kind of exploding like Tortoise Rider. Rub the rear wheel against the floor for two or three times, then the toy motorcycle will move forward. Driving distance shall be a minimum of 10 meters each time. They make this sound like it's some kind of road rule or something rather than just how the toy is supposed to function. I guess it better go 10 meters each time or it's breaking the law. You had to be really rich to buy one of these back in the day as it cost 47,500 bucks. Yup. So, here we go. Here's Donatello's crack at being a bootleg turtle on a motorcycle. But obviously, we all know from the next mutation that Raphael's the one turtle or tortoise meant to be on a motorcycle. They really called it with Tortoise Rider. And even though it's Donatello riding this motorcycle, there's still a big raft decal on the front of it. Or maybe it's just supposed to be the Mirage Turtles again, who knows. There's also Raphael decals on both sides of the thing as well, because, I don't know, Donatello loves Raphael. Oh yeah, Donatello is number eight! This kind of looks like a spot where his number should be again, but instead it's just a mirror sticker. No one likes you turtle riders or something. Bleh, 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 bleh. Ah! That was super uncalled for, so look at Donatello's awesome stunt riding. I'm really hip. Ah! So turtle riders Donatello can be removed from the motorcycle like tortoise rider, but he is not articulated at all. He's just a rubbery figure stuck in one position. Of course, it is nice to have a little bit of articulation at least. However, neither of these figures look particularly great off their motorcycles. So can these two switch rides? Well, uh... Sort of, but not very well. Turtle Rider's scale is obviously a bit bigger than Tortoise Rider's, so Tortoise Rider Raph can't really 
hold on to his handlebars at all. And I guess Donatello is being super cool riding the tortoise rider bike with only one hand. Yeah! Screw safety, dudes! Whoa! We know turtle riders would never really say that, though, because they're a safety toy. A detail that turtle riders has that tortoise rider was missing was an actual belt. And unlike on the card art where they gave Donatello the wrong initial, here they just left it blank. However, this is still absolutely the wrong belt. Even though Turtle Riders has the shoulder straps like the original Playmates Donatello did, this is a Leonardo belt. You can see that this was copied off the Playmates Leonardo figure as it has the two pockets for the two katana swords to slide into. Of course, the pockets are molded solid on this bootleg, so you're not actually putting anything in there. Even though Tortoise Rider is the one with articulation, since Turtle Rider's Donnie is rubbery, he can do some stuff that Tortoise Rider can't, like click his heels together. Woohoo! Boom! I wouldn't want to do that anyway, Dottie, you loser. Now, uh, look at this. Oh, I really don't want to. Aha! Now, let's demonstrate the minimum of 10 meters each time or else, which will definitely work extremely well on the Bootleg Zone's backdrop. He did it. All right, now we'll see that minimum 10 meters driving function. That was impressive. So the instructions seem to sort of indicate that this is like a pullback friction thing, but doesn't really seem to be how this guy works. There's friction, obviously, to the back wheel. <laughs> I guess you're just supposed to go, whoa. <laughs> I really don't know how you're supposed to get this idiot to drive at all. Maybe it's just broken. I guess at least he doesn't look like he might start a fire. He's got that going, but he is breaking the law by not going a minimum 10 meters, so you're under arrest. Anyway, I know what you all really want to see. The big race! So here's Turtle Riders versus Tortoise Rider. Let's see who goes the minimum! Well, I think Turtles Riders won that one! Ah! I was cheated! I hate you, Donnie! Ah! Ah! Spark! Spark, you stupid thing! Chill out, dude. At least your function still sort of does something. I just go, yeah, look at me. I feel like I should be doing something, but I don't really. So here's an important experiment, I guess. Seeing how well these motorcycle bootleg turtle tortoises work with the bootleg Argentinian vehicles. Tortoise rider still a bit too small for this. Kind of looks like a child sitting in a large chair. Turtle rider's Donnie, though, does sort of fit the scale that was intended for this thing. Though, of course, his hands won't ever really hold the handlebars for this gun since they're angled vertically instead of horizontally like the motorcycle. But the two motorcycle bootlegs do fit the scale for these things much better than the official turtles, so there's that. You just need to have bootlegs from all over the place to have anything that works or something. Hey Donnie, how's it going? Ah, not too great, Raph. What's that? I just noticed, no one's actually driving these things. Uh, no matter how you try to rev this bike up, it almost immediately falls right over, so it breaks its own law from the back of the card. The detailing on Fakatello is alright, and Turtle Riders are a bit better than Tortoise Rider in this aspect. Though, they did get some things wrong, and there's no articulation. Five. I'm pretty sure this is a knockoff of a knockoff, so that's getting pretty creatively bankrupt. It is their own molds and stuff, though, so three. 
A Ninja Turtle on a motorbike still isn't that shocking. One. I think the card outdoes the actual figure on Turtle Riders. I love that the turtles are drawn onto actual pictures of race bikes. And it is kind of surprising that they were even detailed enough to put them in behind the windows properly. There really is a surprising amount of different turtle artwork on here, and you gotta love that Mike Atello. Eight. It's a wonky scale again, too big for Tortoise Rider and still too small for regular TMNT, but perfect for Argentine and bootleg vehicles, so there's that. Two. And the bootleg zones overall is five! The bike's function doesn't work very well, but it's an okay small scale turtle on a bike with a bit of amusing wonkiness. <laughs> I know that Tortoise Rider Raph thinks he's the king shit of motorcycles, but he needs to learn that there's a new way! What the hell did he say? A new way? That makes me so angry for some reason! Cue the overused footage of me getting my motorcycle ready! Raph on a motorcycle. Well, look at him go, Tortoise Rider! Shut up, Raphael! This skit's about me, Turtle Riders! Uh, Turtle Riders, Donatello, I don't appreciate you stealing the new way catchphrase from me. That is my stupid thing. Shove it up your ass, Leo. I'm sponsored by Cannon and Castrol and Champion and stuff. Uh, no you're not. That's on the package, and I believe I'm one of the ones driving one of the motorcycles on there. Oh, go to HFIL. What the HFIL? He can't say that, can he, better? That's our thing. Eh, I don't really give a shit if they want to steal HFIL, Jace. Look, better. I saw an opportunity for us to get in on this sketch, so I took it. Well, I can't argue with that, Jace. It's very important for us to be in this Ninja Turtles sketch. These motorcycle Ninja Turtle sketches just keep getting derailed. I hate this. Time to go 10 meters, or else... Whoa! I didn't even knock anyone over. Wow, this is really awkward, dudes. You guys want to get lunch? Hey, what's your problem, buddy? Shouldn't you be trying to stop us? We're the bad guys. Yeah, but we need a new way, which means not caring about anything. Wow, this new way seems like a real new way. We should try out this new way for the Ginyu Force. What do you think, better? Hey, that sounds really stupid. Let's do it, Jace. I hate this sketch. I'm gonna track Raphael with my toilet computer. Remember when I used to be the smart one, guys? What? No? He's the smart one? Am I missing something better? Yes, we're missing a lot, Jace. Because we have no place in this sketch at all. According to my toilet readings, Raphael's engine is exploding, and he's coming right towards me. Uh! You guys are pathetic! Splinter's not athletic! What are you talking about?! 